Hey everyone, my name is Liza. Happy to be back again with you this week. Fun fact about me, I'm a little bit of a cat lady. I have two cats of my own and one of them, Dolly, is really playful, super high energy. But I can remember a time where she got sick and I had to take her to the vet. And the vet told me that when I brought her home, I had to be really gentle with her for a couple days because she was on a lot of medication and had to wear a cone around her neck. So when we got home, I couldn't play with her, I couldn't chase her around. I just had to pet her very calmly, hold her very gently. But it was through those gentle actions that I was able to nurse her back to her old self. And that leads me to today's big idea. We can show God's love with gentle words. In this series, we've been learning more about the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And today, we're going to focus on gentleness. So first, what is gentleness? Well, think about the different ways that you've been told to be gentle. Maybe you're holding a newborn baby and someone says, be gentle. Or you're carrying flowers and you have to be gentle. Or remember the story about me with my cat? I had to be gentle. Gentleness is a loving and caring way to treat others. Gentle words, are kind words. Gentle actions are kind and considerate. Let's see what the Bible has to say about gentleness. We're going to read from the book of Proverbs. A proverb is a piece of advice or words of wisdom. And the proverb that we're going to read from was written by King Solomon. And he was given this amazing gift of wisdom from God. In Proverbs 15, he wrote, A gentle answer turns anger away, but mean words stir up anger. The tongues of wise people use knowledge well, but the mouths of foolish people pour out foolish words. The eyes of the Lord are everywhere. They watch those who are evil and those who are good. A tongue that calms is like a tree of life, but a tongue that tells lies produces a broken spirit. A gentle answer turns anger away, but mean words stir up anger. That's really good advice. Have you ever been playing with a friend when you disagree over something? Instead of getting angry and yelling at each other, try using gentle words and really talk through what's happening. That can actually stop anger and prevent you from hurting each other. Solomon also said, wise people speak with wisdom and foolish people don't. And that's why it's so important that we're careful with what we say. Let's take a look at that last verse again. A tongue that calms is like a tree of life, but a tongue that tells lies produces a broken spirit. What does that mean? Gentle words, kind speech, encouraging words are like a life-giving source. Our gentleness with our words is important, and it's one of the ways that we can show God's love. So how can we do that? If someone is yelling at you or using hurtful words towards you, just stay calm and use gentle words back. Or if you're around and someone's being hurtful to another person, you can respond with gentle words and kindness to the person who's hurting. We can really show God's love by being gentle with our words every day. And I know it's not always easy. Sometimes someone says something harsh or hurtful to you and you wanna respond by being harsh and hurtful back. But as Christ followers, we know that Jesus shows us a way of being gentle with our words and having humble hearts. So let's choose to be different. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. I hope you have a great week. And remember, let's show God's love using gentle words.